My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, Deck Point 23 Row, it is a great pleasure to meet you all through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you all. Take with me from the book of Joshua.3. 7. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you, in the sight of all Israel, that they may know, that as I was with Moses so I will be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, God will exalt you today before those who spoke ill of you. He will exalt you before those who despised you and also ill-treated you. Before the people who could have said, after all you have just come today, young boy what are you going to achieve greatly? To those who spoke against you in such a way, the Lord will exalt you. That day the Lord assured Joshua, today the Lord is assuring you in the same manner that he will exalt you. Joshua was one among the lots of people who walked under Moses. All the people saw Joshua working along with Moses, and lots of people saw Moses leading the people to the promised land. Joshua who also was one among them also saw this. When God gave Joshua the responsibility to lead the people of Israel to the promised land, then they all would have seen Joshua and I think that they might have despised him saying what can this young man do? Wasn't he one among us moving and walking along with us? Will he be able to lead us in the way as Moses did? That is why I think that the Lord has given this promise to Joshua. He strongly emphasizes that he will remain with Joshua as he was with Moses, in the sight of all Israel. That they may know, that as I was with Moses so I will be with you. God tells him that he would glorify him. So this shows that he was despised by all the people of Israel as they thought that he was not so efficient as Moses. If they had good regard for Joshua then it wouldn't have been necessary for the Lord to say that. So in the midst of such people who despised him, the Lord exalted him to show the people that God was with Joshua as he was with Moses. God used him as the ambassador of God to lead the people of Israel. They could have thought, is he going to lead us? Yes, it was he who led the people of Israel to the promised land and distributed the land according to the tribes. He distributed the land as God had promised to Moses, to the twelve tribes. My dear children of God, those of you who are reading this message, God who is going to give you an elevation in some area of your life, is coming in search of you. But all those who are with you, around you, they may be thinking, this fellow came after me. How come he has gone before me or has obtained such an upgradation in his life? He was loitering along with us. In such a surprising manner, in the front of those who degraded you or despised you, God will exalt you before them. Didn't speak about Jesus himself saying, isn't he the son of Joseph the carpenter? His father was just a carpenter. He is the son of an ordinary carpenter. We see how people were gossiping about Jesus himself in the word of God. In the same manner your relatives, those who surround you, your friends, who are your close associates, and all those residing around you, may be speaking ill about you. Before all those people God will exalt you. Do you know why the Lord had exalted Joshua? Because he did not leave the temple of God. He was a dedicated follower of Moses his leader. Though Moses left the temple of God after all his work Joshua remained in the temple court. That means he never departed from the presence of the Lord. So God exalted him before all the people of Israel. Today in every circumstance of your life, choose either God or this worldly thing. God or this pleasure, God or this worldly position. So in everything if you seek God and give prominence to God and his word then God will exalt you. So like Joshua if you follow the fellowship in the church and if you stand firm in the Lord, then as per the Lord's word, if you don't give up on the gathering of the church, God will exalt you before all the people who despised you. God will keep you in the high position. And God will magnify your name.